Where did you get your shot? Right here. Where, where did you get yours? Right there. These two little ones were among the first in line to get their COVID shots. We came out as soon as we could get these two vaccinated. A day that's been long awaited for this family. It's felt like an important part of keeping our community safe, our family safe and helping prevent the spread of COVID. Just over 200,000 kids between six months and four years of age are eligible for their shots. But as of today, only around 8,200 have booked appointments. We're excited and relieved that we finally have vaccines that are available and safe and work and uh, for the youngest uh, children in our families and our communities. Experts say while COVID has a milder impact on most children, it's still best to stay protected, especially as children head to school in September. We need to think about how do we best protect those people who need it most, the most uh, vulnerable to, to COVID and influenza. But there's still mixed reactions on getting young children vaccinated. Now that school's starting again, I think we're probably going to go and get it done. But it's just not been around long enough for me to trust it. We plan on getting vaccinated. We trust uh, the science behind it. Overall, children ages 5 to 11 could get their shots since last November. But kids that age still have the lowest vaccination rates across B.C. at just 46%. About half of the children aged 5 to 11 in the Vancouver Coastal and Vancouver Island Health regions have had their shots, while the interior and the north have the lowest rates. And there could be a range of reasons behind the low numbers. I think parents might feel that they don't need the vaccine, and particularly if they got it and it was very mild. I think there are concerns about the potential long-term effects, even though you know the data is very clear that it's a very safe and very effective vaccine. And even if your child already had COVID, experts advise to still get the jab, but wait eight weeks since your child's symptoms started or they tested positive. It is a mild disease in most children, but not all children. And there are a lot of children end up in the hospital with COVID. It's another measure experts say is needed to protect the little ones and those around them. Benit Brach, CBC News, Abbotsford.